What usually happens, we come to the edge of the well or the lake and we stop. It's just too frightening to go in. There's a marvelous passage in Beowulf, this original Anglo-Saxon poem 1,500 years ago. This description of Beowulf having to go down to the lake. The story says that, uh, that King Hrothgar in Denmark is being terribly bothered by this huge green creature that comes out at night, fights off his best warriors, uh, and drags young men and maidens off to the swamp, leaving a trail of blood behind. And Beowulf, who is this sixth century mercenary, turns up on the shores of Denmark and says, I'll sort it out for you. And Rathgar says, half my kingdom if you can do it. Gold, silver, rings. And so that night in Herot, which is the hall, Hrothgar's hall, everyone clears out except for Beowulf and his men. And this green creature called Grendel comes into the hall looking for youth, for innocence. And Beowulf uh, engages in this titanic fight through the night and finally wounds Grendel. And Grendel staggers off back to the swamp and dies in the swamp celebration. Marvelous. Half his kingdom to Beowulf. Rings, gold, sword, dancing, mead flowing over. Stories. The next night something else comes out of the swamp, fights off Hrothgar's best men, drags young men and women off to the swamp, leaving trails of blood behind Grendel's mother. The story says it's not the thing you fear, it's the mother of the thing you fear. It's deeper yet, deeper yet. It's always going to be harder than you think. The nourishment that comes from going in that side is, is going to be more precious than you could have known, but to get there it's going to be more difficult than you could have known. You know, people go through terrible traumas in their life, they say, this is it, God, I've learned my lesson, let it end now and it goes on, it goes on, it goes on. And there's no answer to it. There's no consolation. In the mythic uh, um, stories, this is three days and three nights. It's always three days and three nights. He was three days and three nights in the monster's lair. He was three days and three nights in the witch's hut. He was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale. Interesting, isn't it, how it uh, corresponds to that same period of the month that the moon is completely missing. Three nights. So Beowulf has to go to the lake, and he has to go down into the lake. This is the description of the lake where Beowulf has to go, where everyone has to go. It says they called the huge one Grendel. If he had a father, no one knew him. They called the huge one Grendel. If he had a father, no one knew him. Or if there were others before them, hidden evil before hidden evil, they live in secret places, windy cliffs, wolf dens, where water pours from rocks, where mist steams like black clouds and the groves of trees hanging out over their lake are all covered with frozen spray and wind down snake-like roots that reach as far as the water and help keep it dark at night that lake burns like a torch no one knows its bottom no wisdom reaches such depths a deer hunted through the woods by packs of hounds a stag with great horns though driven through the forest from faraway places, refuses to save its life in that water, prefers to die on that shore. It is not far from here, nor is it a pleasant spot. See, the English were into understatement even 1,500 years ago. <laughs> is not far from here, nor is it a pleasant spot. The body's saying, if you think this is just a story, think again. Warriors, 